Okay, I want to show you how to add uh, your profile picture from SFI to one of your email letters. So I'm going to open up Campaign Manager. And I'm going to go to one of my campaigns and we're going to open it up, edit a letter, uh, and hopefully quickly we can find a letter that has my profile picture in it and we'll edit it and I'll show you how it's done. Let's jump, jump down to my stream program. I believe we'll have something there. The stream. We want to open up with letters. So I'm going to go to letters. Okay. And then we're going to go open the first letter in edit mode. And there you can see my uh, profile picture right there. That looks like it might be a regular picture, though. Let's see if it is actually an SFI profile picture. Okay, it opens it up. No, this is a this is a picture from on my own picture from my own drive, but I'm gonna put in my SFI profile picture in there. Let's go get it. Come on, things seem to be slowing down here. Maybe it's because of the uh, recording the screen, but we'll see. Come on. Come on, show me the files. There they come. There they come. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a notepad file, which I believe I just call scrap. That's what I call it, scrap. It is uh, scrap list. Open that up, and we're going to go down and find my uh, SF uh, photo right here. See, it says photo right there. Now, this is a link in SFI that goes to my image photo. So, I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to come back to traffic wave and I'm going to place that link right here. And I'm going to say my photo. And I'm going to size it down to 125. And I hit this little lock, and that'll take the perspective. So there you'd see what the photo will look like when it is in there. Now, any photo you put in a traffic wave email must be out on the internet somewhere. The photo that was in there, you know, prior to making this change, the photo that was in there, let's just complete the change, okay? There I am. Uh, the photo that was in there was on my server, uh, servthailand.com. The photo that is now in there is taken from SFI, and I get the link of my photo in my SFI uh, affiliate program. Then I place that link in here. Now, let's say I didn't have a picture at all. We'll just go over onto the other side here. We want to put a picture in, so we can select the image button right here. Select the image button. We put the link that we've got in there. I add alternate text. Alternate text just means this is what's going to show up if uh, someone's internet uh, connection is too slow to bring the picture in or 
or some other problem arrives, this is what's going to show up. And I just want my photo to be the words that show up to that person. Here I resize the photo, bring it down smaller. Again, this lock button will keep it in perspective. If it's unlocked, uh, they would only uh, change the width or the height one at a time. With it locked, it changes both, so it maintains, maintains perspective. I can put a border around it, see the little black line that's now around it, and then I can place it. Now, right now it's going to show up as a single picture on a line all by itself. If I want it to be surrounded by text, I go here and I can say, put the picture on the left-hand side or put the picture on the right-hand side. So we're going to put it on the right-hand side this time, because we already have one on the left. You can see the text is going to go around the picture. But sometimes when the text goes around the picture, it gets very, very, like right there, very, very close to the picture. So sometimes it's nice to put a little bit of space in there so that... There's a little white space around the picture. See how that makes some white space? Now we're going to hit OK, and this will appear in the letter. There it is on the other side. OK, now if we want to make this picture link to something, let's open up the picture. We double click the picture to open it, or we could uh, click here to put in a new image. Let's double click our existing image, and it opens up the same box. You can see everything is still in place. Then we go to link, and we can put here the link we want it to go to. So, for example, maybe I want it to go to HTTP, whoops, P, slash, slash, uh, and I want it to go to finally dot profits on Okay. And then I can do a target link, and I can say open this, and when they click that picture, Open it in a new window that's blank, and then pull in this uh, link here. So, okay. Now, if a person clicks on this image, it's going to open one of my SFI uh, gateway pages. Uh, finally, ProfitsOnline.com is my SFI uh, uh, prestige domain link, and it points to uh, join my team. Uh, dot joinmyteam.com, uh, my SFI gateway. So that's all you have to do, and it's all set to go. So that's how you put a picture in. That's how you change the size of the picture. That's how you modify your emails. If my picture happens to be in one of the emails that you took from me, you just change uh, the link in here uh, to yours, and all you really have to do is change this right here uh, to your SF SFI ID and your picture will show up instead of mine. Cancel. Okay, I'm not going to save this because I don't want to uh, mess up my letters. So I'm just going to return to the campaign. And that should do it for you. But I want to show you one other thing. Here in, uh, in Google, Google Mail, let's go to Compose. And let's say uh, I want to build a letter that says, you know, uh, join SFI with me. Okay. Now in this letter, I want to put in a link. I'm going to go get a, a picture, a picture. Let's say one of those pictures is a banner that I want to put in. Uh, and we'll use this one from Traffic Wave just because it's available at the moment. So let's get this link from Traffic Wave. Okay, this is a picture. Okay, and I come back here and I'm going to put that uh, picture right there. So see again, it has an image photo, uh, image button, and it says insert photo. So I select the image button to insert a photo, and it gives me options. I can pick an existing photo from my uh, Google Photos or from an album that I might have built, or from, or I can upload a picture from my computer that will then get put into my Google Photos and uh, I can use. So even if I upload a picture uh, for Google Mail, that's going to put that picture out on the web so it can be accessed by whoever opens and reads my email. Or I can put in a web address for that picture, and that's what I'm going to do. And you'll see if I put in this web address that I just copied, it's going to come up right down here. And it's a GIF, so you can see this change changes 
uh, or it's slightly animated. So I hit insert. And now that picture is in my uh, Google email, my Gmail, or whoever I might send it to. If I select uh, that entire picture like that, and then I hit link, insert a link, it's going to, let's change the link now. Now, where do, it, where do I want it to go? Let's go back here. Where we want it to go is to this location right here. So we're going to put this in. Let's go back. And we put in the, that link. Okay. Okay. Now, this picture is hypertext with a link behind it. Okay. So now I'm going to send this to myself, and when I receive it, you'll see what it looks like. And I'll also send it, no, no, that's good. I'll send it to myself. And then send. It should come in in a moment. Refresh our mail for a second, see if it's coming in. There it is. It came from me, and this is the join SFI with me. That's my that was my subject line. I open it up. There it is. If I click on it, it takes me right to Traffic Wave. You can see right there that that's my Traffic Wave ID. So anybody that clicks that banner and comes to this link uh, and joins Traffic Wave is going to be. Uh, in my traffic wave campaigns and they can just come in and uh, do any of these things look through this they can uh, register right here for a 30-day fee trial whatever they do they can look at features they can have questions they can look at pricing anything else they look at uh, it's all going to contain my geomic 57 tag so that they end up being my affiliate okay I hope that is helpful to you, and I'll send this to you right now. Talk to you later.